Welcome back, everybody. We are in the kitchen gearing up for, let's see, is it basketball season? We Soccer? We have basketball here. So oh, it's football. That's right. <laughs> yeah, the Steelers preseason continues this weekend Who back in High that? Field. <laughs> They'll take on the Atlanta Falcons. Kickoff is at 4 o'clock, and KDK is your home for Steelers football. You can join us for our pregame shows at 3 o'clock, and we will air last season's highlight film at 3.30. It's the UPMC Health Plan Steelers kickoff show, and you can find Steelers coverage anytime at kdka.com for all of that. And, of course, if you're going to the game or watching at home, you need some good game day grub, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All of this looks, this is right up <laughs> my alley. This is exactly the kind of food I want to eat every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is this is super tailgate friendly. This, yes. is, this is good stuff. Um, basically, we're going to just make a huge steak hoagie today. We're going to show you how to make some beer cheese, and then we're going to top it off with a grilled corn salad. So oh, some, nice. These are some of my favorites. So cool. Cool. All right, so we're let's making get the down. steak first, probably, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm that's ready. it. Let's I'm ready. It. You are. You're I'm all hungry. pumped. All right. Okay. So we got a New York strip. We seasoned it overnight, guys, just like this. A big, thick-cut New York strip. I put, like, Montreal steak, a little garlic, and here's the kicker. I patted it dry right now so, like, there's no moisture on it. Right. So we don't want the moisture. We just want to, like, sear it. So we'll get, like, a hard sear on it. So okay. that's where we get our crust, and then we're going to finish it off in the oven. I'll show you guys this guy, but we'll crank it up just a little bit. We want to get just a good caramelization you on the outside. Yeah, that sear, too, to make so, sure that's yeah. good and hot. So we're going to eat that rare, or how will it come out? You gotta tune it. You know what I mean? Give me, no, give me a couple wait. minutes. Give me a couple minutes. Okay. The so, suspense is killing you. So we're gonna top it with eat. peppers and onions. All right. <laughs> we're gonna top it, guy, with peppers and onions. Just a thick strip. We want to thick strip them just because we want to get them, have them hold up. Because we're okay. actually gonna, JB, we're gonna finish this guy in the oven. So we're gonna sear okay. it on both sides. Yeah. And then we're gonna finish it in the oven. Okay. You know, we're oven guys. All right. Gotcha. All right. In here. We're gonna actually going to start our beer cheese sauce. Okay. Okay. Any guys ever make beer cheese before? I've never made it. I've had it. Never made it. I, I don't know that I've ever heard of it. Really? Beer cheese? I don't it's like, think you know, so. like the cheese for pretzels, stuff like that. Okay. All right. Somebody got to hold this. I will. Don't be afraid. So got right it? here, right here. <laughs> it's good with that. I like, like this. Oh, God. You got to stir around the roux, okay? Okay. This is the roux right here. So and what do you got in here? So a roux is butter and flour. This is uh, almond flour okay. and a little bit of butter come together. This is our binding agent, okay? So, so that's not the cheese. There's no cheese in there. There's no cheese in there. No. It's okay. just butter and flour yep. toasted together. You could have, this is a light roux, and as it gets darker, it'll turn into a blonde and a brown. Okay. The darker it is, the more complex it is. It'll give it a nuttier flavor. Now, do you recommend any specific kind of beer, like any kind of ale, like pale you know, ale, um, stout? Things like that is, you know, I went with a Bach. This is the this is the Shiner Bach, which is good. It'll give it a great body. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the dark beer has, like, more of a nutty flavor. So we're trying to tap in on all that. Well, dark beer just has more flavor in general. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to really use a light beer for it. You're not going to get the good toasty hops and all that fun okay. stuff. Now here's the cheese, job. And then just add the cheese. And this is cheddar? Mild, yeah, that's sharp? That's a sharp cheddar, okay? okay? So what we're going to do is just mix that around, okay. and it's just going to incorporate ever so slightly. Yeah. Just like this. Do you want me to use a spoon or this? Uh, you know, you look awkward using that. You can, I do. Just, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. It looks okay. like, you know, you got like a little pot awkward. big spoon. You know? oh, no, not awkward. I mean, yeah, I see. you're right. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's flip this guy. Let's talk about a little bit of the caramelization. Yeah. This guy's going to go. Right so, in the oven. Look at that, right? That looks so beautiful. Good. So that's going to go right in the oven. This dude shut off. We'll let him chill. We're okay. going to make the corn salad, okay? Oh, John. <laughs> Get that knife out of here, right. would you? So everybody, here's the easiest way to do corn in the whole wide world. Got your corn. You got your mother's bun pan. I yes. put my mother's. My mom so, bought me one, and I was like, And then that's how you do. This? Hold the corn. Okay. <laughs> Don't <laughs> give Heather the knife, John. You're off knife duty. Uh, you know what? You're I'm not going to use my hand and your knife. What? Oh no, you no, no. I'll hand use my hand. This looks good. Okay, I like okay. the way this so works. We're, we're doing it like this. Oh, that yeah. is a great. Yeah. Check that out, guys. It's going to go right into the right into the uh, bun job, pan. John. Okay. So you're not so you're not playing around. You put the thermometer in the meat? What, I put the roast probe in the meat. So we're looking for a rare of like, you know, 135, 145 for Ooh, medium. Look and, at those. Uh, look at that. So Good got, job, John. Do all of them or just that, that one? Yeah, do another one. Go ahead. Have do some another. fun with it. Right. We're going to put this guy right in the oven. Wait until you guys see what he just pulled out of the oven. Check My this out. Goodness. We'll put the roast probe in, plug it right into our oven. We'll set the probe temp. To 165, and the oven's gonna do all the work, guys. That's great. This is the fantastic part about these ovens. Boom, 160. We'll hit start. 
That is so neat. Isn't that cool? And then you don't even have to worry clothes. about timing or checking or anything like that. That's why we can play around and just, you know, John can cut corn. You know what I mean? So yeah. we're good. Did you notice how focused I was, how quiet I was? Yes. You are. When I've got a big weapon in my hand, I, I, yes. get, I get all... Guys, goat cheese goes in, fresh tomatoes. Spinach? Yeah, nice spinach. You could use a little bit of kale underneath, too. You don't have to. Corn right on top, JB. And corn put the on corn top. Right in here. Got it. Mm -hmm. Just look like at these guys. That looks great. Just so like this, this the whole finish. thing? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. You know, get a little uh, little love in there. You know what I mean? All right, all right. Just top it real nice. Hey, what's that pink coat you're wearing? What's going on with that? Oh, so, yeah, talk, talk about that. Yeah, the check it out. So, um, we're doing the enough? real men yeah, wear pink that looks to great. stand up for cancer. Mm -hmm. And um, right here, right you guys, check this one out. Look at that. That's me actually in 1986 when I was five. So and it's who, my, who's with you? That's uh, my brother right Hold there. On. Here, check check it out. All right, I'm guessing that you're this guy right here. That's me, Cheesy Green. This one right there? Out. Yep. Yeah. That's, uh, and this is your twin. My twin brother, Adam. It's Michael. And that's my grandmother right there. And, and your and, grandmother uh, yeah. actually passed away from breast cancer. So this, is, this campaign is kind of close to, to yeah. home. It hits home. My grandmother was diagnosed in 1980 mm -hmm. with breast cancer. So 86, uh, she passed. But... Well, and That's, think about how far they've come mm -hmm. with research and preventative care and all that stuff. So what's your fundraising goal? So uh, my fundraising goal is uh, I started around uh, three grand, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll hit all the numbers and uh, we'll exceed oh, it. Great. So, right, you know, great. we're ready to help out. Good, we're going to eat some steak. So that's okay. why we're wearing pink all month of October. I love it. Pink I love for it. days. So. Okay, Beautiful. and so with the steaks, what are we doing to wrap this up? Let's wrap it up. Let's take it home. We're going to cut the steak. You guys got to open this up. Oh my, look at that Put bread. Put that over there. Okay. Cheese sauce is going to go on it, and I'm going to slice the these The cheese sauce is going on it? Yeah. Can I do that? You can do that, absolutely. Okay. Do it, Heather, right. do it. <laughs> do it. Right. Okay. You might have to get this a little bit closer. I'm going to put it on the bottom. Look I don't know if you want to. Yeah, put it, we're going to put it on the bottom and the top. Great call. And the top. Jeez, you've done so this you before. You lay this out like this. Oh, bottom that looks and so top. good. Yeah, bottom and top. I'm going to get, get another one. Top. Get the top. Get the top. Mm. Look at that. That, it smells mm. incredible. All right, couple more pieces of steak just like that before we flip. God, mighty. There we go. And then we'll put peppers and onions on it like this. That is a <laughs> massive hoagie. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. This is like caveman style. It, that's it. A little All more right. cheese. We can even get like this. Yes. <laughs> of do course it we could. Right. We'll do the big Whoa. <laughs> All right. Have some fun with it. And like. And then you close it up. Close it up. And chow down. You guys can split it right in half. You get half. <laughs> you right. get I'll half. I'll do it. I'll do it. And then, you know, oh, no, everybody, takes big, everybody takes oh, a big nap after this. Oh, did I lose a little this. on the end? Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Two things coming up for Don's. What's going on? Two things coming up. We're actually, we have our anniversary sale oh, coming up on the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Mm -hmm. And we're opening up our 7th location in Irwin. So, awesome. you guys out in Irwin, you'll see us. Seven. I'll be there. I'll be uh, awesome. grilling it up. I'm going to do all kind of fun things. We're going to have a ton of, like, uh, celebrities and people come in. So, it's going to be a super fun time. All it's right. Well, time. thank you so much, right, Chef Dan Torino. Corporate chef for Don's Appliances. Thank you for coming in. And thanks to Don's and Lux for providing our kitchen set here on PTL.